What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 13 Pro and today we're back with a case from Pelican to unbox, do a quick review, you know, I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. Pricing, I think it's got 30 bucks on this one, I believe. Got it through Casemates websites, I think Casemates the one that actually makes his brand, but I thought I was actually getting like an actual Casemate case, but... I guess they're all the same company. So we're going to check this one out to see if it's a hit or miss. It's going to be a clear MagSafe case. Really what I thought was impressive with at least the fine print. 15 foot drop protection. That's some big boy drop protection for a clear case. Tells you more details what you're going to get. Ranger series magnetic. It says dual, dual layer. So all right, let's go check this one out. Presentation looks good though. I like what they did. Got a little tab right here. Nothing with the struggles or stress with the unboxing. So it makes it really easy for me. Put that to the side. All right, so you got a clear case, hard shell plastic back. Got a little flex to it, so it kind of transitions from this hard shell plastic, maybe more of a, a gel style on the sides. It gives a little nice, nice little grip. Now, one thing I did notice, you're not going to get any of those ridges are on the interior, so that's actually going to give you that shock absorption. A lot of times you'll see that those ridges on Tech 21 cases, that's kind of like their patented thing. They give you that extra shock absorption, but add those little ridges, that's going to give you that drop protection to make up for it. So, making up for being a thin case. So, overall, Pelican right there, MagSafe charger right there, one part case. Got some nice give to it. Actually, just feels pretty nice. Feels like a basic clear case. Um, yeah, I like it. Not a lot of thickness, so it's thin enough. That's good. It's going to take off that beautiful, beautiful 13 Pro. Give it a wipe down treatment because you just never know when you're getting one of these clear cases. I think there's a layer of plastic on this. I got to take off as well. Oh, I forgot that. We'll, we'll go over that in a second. I think I did see something I'm really going to enjoy, which they did a good job with. But let me see where this plastic is. Is it the interior or is it the exterior? I think they've got the plastic. Let's see. I wish there was a ridge. I'm, I'm, oh, there it is. Okay, so there's plastic right there. Okay, I feel like we're good. Trying to trick me with the plastic. Let's go and take it and wipe it down, wipe it down. Like we do. <laughs> this is one of the funniest purchases I think I... Um, it's that Apple... Uh, <laughs> cleaning cloth i think it was on back order for um a long time it finally showed up i'm like man i forgot i ordered that thing but yeah it's a nice cleaning cloth but <laughs> for you know two months back order that's pretty funny let's go and wipe it down though make it look beautiful shine it up real nice slaps it right into place like that boom and we'll take off this little plastic boom okay there you go. That's how it's going to look. Crystal clear. I like the way this one looks. Very nice. All right. One thing I did notice when I was going to talk about earlier is you can see these little ridges right there. You see on all corners, you got those raised edges. What that's going to do, it's going to like give you a little height, a little lift from the back of the actual case. See that? Right there. Those corners, what that's going to do it's going to help you prevent your phone from getting unnecessary scratches. It's lifting it up just a little bit. And what that's going to do, every time you put it down on your table at work, when it's on your desk, it's going to lift it up. So it's not going to face the scratches as much as it would be if it was flush on the ground. You're not going to have any wobble effect, anything like that. It actually just feels pretty natural. One thing I would say, um, it actually kind of does feel sharp a little bit right here when you're holding it like this. Because of that, just the way it's located, you might get used to it, but it does feel just a little bit unnatural right there with that little sharp uh, edge. And then you can check out the camera protection. They did a good job with the camera protection. Nice cutout right there all the way around with the raised edge. So very cool. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip zip. Lip protection looks good as well. They did a good job with this case. You can see that lippage on all corners. Rocking a screen protector so there's no issues at all with uh, camera protection or uh, protection for your screen. Large slider, easy access. Almost gave you too much room right there. I don't really know why they gave you the extra cutout, but it's pretty easy to get to. Maybe that's why. It actually feels really, really easy to get to. Buttons are pretty clicky and responsive. They're the same style of buttons or the same style of material as the gel um, bumper, but they've got a little lift to them. There's a little air pocket in there, so that actually does give you a nice cushion. They're not as nice as maybe the new Tech 21 buttons 
or the new OtterBox ones, but they don't feel tough to the press, so I don't have a problem with that. And you can see speaker grill looks good, both sides, and then power button right there. So very cool. Nice looking case. Feels nice in the hands. Let's go and check out the MagSafe, see if it's friendly. Not the craziest, strongest magnet in the world, that's for sure. It's going to get the job done. Let's see. Well, it's supposedly charging, unless my phone's... I think it's unplugged here. Let me check this out. There we go. I unplugged it at one point. So let's go check it out again. Boom. There. Maybe. There we go. There we go. So it's charging. So again, the magnet's not as strong as some of them, like even the official one or the OtterBox one. But overall, I like the build quality of this one. I like the protection. I think they did a really, really nice job with this one overall design so i don't probably recommending it for like 30 bucks yeah and if you could find a coupon code to get it down a little bit less that's that's a, a win as well so overall i'm gonna call this one a hit i think you got enough premium value here to call it a hit let me know your thoughts in the comment section is it a hit is it a miss we'll call it a hit hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys next time